going on, people? It's your boy Kenny Allstar here, and I'm chilling with NFTR, and we're chopping it up with Viz to talk about my best of the best UK mixtape host. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm originally a mixtape host, and I take the culture, the art of mixtape hosting very serious. It's hip hop, it's, it's rap, and it's me. So I'm going to talk about all the mixtape hosts that I was inspired by. And a lot of you guys watching this might remember some of these names and some of these iconic mixtapes and the voices on them. So let's get it and let's represent. Yeah? Bah. The grind don't stop, you know. 24-7 on the block, you know. The girls love me, I'm popular. I'm a full-time hustler. Done 20 back moves in my wet How you gonna finesse the finesse? Man, it's all for peace. Things a nigga do for the cheddar. Big boy, big boy, Beretta, I am me and I'm a boss, you know. Man, I came up, I was broke, you know. First name, I'm gonna shout out on my best of the best UK mixtape host. It has to go to my guy, C Figs. Now, anyone that doesn't know C Figs, he's a producer, he's an engineer, and he was behind some of the most iconic UK rap albums from probably the years 2012 to 2014. So if you remember that, that sick J Spades, More Money, More Pagans tape, one and two, C Figs is the voice that you hear on that. And that was like one of the mixtapes that I heard and thought, rah, like this guy just puts things together a bit differently. Like the most simple things, if there's a track as well, on Money More Pagans 1 called Ghetto. And that's when he just bigs up every single postcode in Hackney and he, it's a one take. Like from one host to another, I can tell when someone's one taked it. And that is hard to do. So I have to big up C Figs. Also, he was the guy behind Tion Wayne's Wayne's World 1. That's Tion Wayne's debut mixtape. Go check that out as well. And he's connected the dots with a lot of young MCs coming in this thing. And, I think he should be credited highly, so big up C Figs on that. Baby really ain't marrying to Yeah, just wanna get down with a mobster. And if she fuck good, I might treat her to lobster. Feds cross car. They didn't wanna see me leave the wing like Bell did hot spar. Gotta get proper dough. Burberry sitting on my collarbone. That's just how it's gotta go, I'm tired. But when the line ring, I don't give a fuck where the fiend is, I gotta go. But you, you rather stay in your bed on the Number four, my BBC radio colleague, man like DJ Limelight. Now Limelight, for many reasons, is important in the mixtape culture. A lot of people will be familiar with what he does every single week on the Asian network, One Extra and the Asian Beat Show on Radio One. But one of the most important and integral projects in UK rap was Movers, Everybody Hates Mooney or everybody hates money, depending on how you want to pronounce it. That tape was special because Limelight came on there and he not only co-produced half of the whole project, but he was also just dipping in with these like mad little one-liners and it was just less is more, you know? He defined to me less is more on a project. There's hosts that will come on, tell stories, but there's also hosts that will just say a oh, one little line, I'll drop their tag, and it just works. It blends, blends in well. So I think I've got to give Limelight his credit as well for what he's done on that project. He's also done one of Nole's early projects as well. From grind to rap mixtapes, he was a hard working host. And, um, and as a DJ as well, I respect that ability to go and host the mixtape and still go in the clubs and do his things. That, that's, that's something that I was inspired I was inspired by from a young age. So big up Limelight every time, yeah. Do you know what it is, yeah? It's, it, it's not even the fact that I'm, that I'm underrated or, or the fact that I'm, I'm being slept on. It's the, it's the fact that people don't think I'm a threat. Do you understand? People don't think that I'm, that I'm one to be to be looked out for, want to be watched. And that's when it becomes a problem. That's when I have to rise up and become a problem, you understand? Because last year I put out some unprecedented shit. You know what I'm saying? So, for man to see me and, and to know what I'm on, and man still want to sleep on me, I'm going to I'm gonna have to rise up and become a problem. I'm going to have to kill everyone. That, that's what it basically is. Look, I'm a fucking problem. And these rappers just don't seem to comprehend And all these little niggas wanna hype up on the Twitter And salute me when I buck them or they see me on the ends Number three for me has to be Man Like Dice 
hood's hottest. If you don't know about dice, you lot need to go back into time. Um, log on to Hood Tapes, Mixtape Madness, however you, or even Dat Piff, however you, you consume your mixtapes, take a look into the world of Dice. Dice was the first mixtape host who I was familiar with that had a whole, like, kind of mini label and movement called The Hood's Hottest. So The Hood's Hottest movement was mad iconic. As a South London DJ and mixtape host myself, just watching what he had done with the Hood's Hottest brand was incredible. He had his mixtapes, and I think those mixtapes were just like so iconic in the scene, you know, the Hood's Hottest volume, volumes, and you know, he was he, he brought me into new rappers in the game, you know, like in, in, in the 2010s. And we're talking about the likes of Page, Pain and Yards. I remember when I heard Youngman's first tape, when he was really going heavy on these US rap beats and I just hearing Dice put it together and do these mad wheel-ups as well. His, Dice's wheel-ups were always 30. Like, I would just, he just came with a different energy and, I'm, and I respect it. I, I respected it so highly, bruv. And then some of the most iconic projects that I ever heard came from Dice, you know. Stormzy's 168 mixtape, the tape that he done in seven days, and I believe, hopefully I'm not wrong, I like to think that I'm a good rap historian, but I believe that was his first ever mixtape as well. So Dice being the guy to just bring that mixtape together, seven days, um, having Stormzy in the studio delivering that, that was, to me, special. Um, so I have to big up Dice, Hood's Hot is for that as well. So yeah, man, again, iconic, so important and he's inspired me heavily. These big rad, so dubs, hear what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I want you to talk yeah. to the people, yeah. I want you to make them know what real life is, yeah? yeah. It's none yeah. of this movie yeah. shit. Yeah. You can't see this shit in the cinema, G. I'm just living my life, you can hate if you want, I'll be sitting outside with the other mitts on. The fires in my palm and scuffing his lungs, so I'm firing the arm, then I'm gone. If you said I'm flying in Ferrari, you're wrong. I'm flying in the entire army, you can't see. But my entire is Versace, you can't see. But the nice fiberglass, G, you won't see. So this is, this is where it gets tricky for me, the last two hosts. These two hosts for me, remember, I'm a South Londoner, so a lot of the hosts that I pick, they're gonna be very like London based, very South London based. That's why these next two guys are in that criteria of the hosts that have inspired me the most. So if you hear what I do on Mad About Bars, or you hear what I do on anyone's mixtape, I wouldn't be able to do it without learning from these two goats. So let's go straight in with DJ Big Ride. For those who don't know who DJ Big Ride is, uh, that's DJ, that's Giggs' official mixtape host DJ, as well as on the road, he was DJing for Giggs for a very long time when Giggs had his breakthrough years, like in 09, 010. So Big Ride was that guy that was there, not only in the clubs, but he used to put these bodies of work that was incredible. Around 05, 06, he had his tapes that were just flooding the, the market, literally, quite literally, if you go to some of the mixtape markets, like we had one in Lewisham, you know, in Lewisham market, right next to the MACDs. Like we would just slide down there and there'd be enough times me and my bedroom after school would run to the, to the market and try to get that, that let's get it started mixtape from Big Ride. Um, so, and even in the NAM as well, some of us used to go NAM to try to get these new mixtapes. These SM1 tapes that Big Red used to put together was just so legendary. And for anyone who doesn't know Big Red, you will know what he done on Ardbodied. The tape, Hollow Man with dubs, Ardbodied, that's an iconic UK rap tape. He done the intro for Pain Is The Essence. Now, Pain Is The Essence to me, is one of the greatest UK rap anthems of all time for me. Remember, it's my opinion, like it or lump it. Pain is the essence, just the way he comes it, he just comes in and that, that beat and it's like, yo, it's big rad. Yeah, like just that, just hearing that. <laughs> was just, I remember just hearing just, just his voice on a record and I was like, blood, I wanna do that. Whatever big rad is there right now, I wanna do. 
So um, yeah, that was an iconic moment for me hearing the Hard Body mixtape and just growing up on him was incredible. And, and what made it so special working around someone like um, Big Ride was when I first met him. So imagine always listening to an, a DJ hosting a mixtape and you, it's like when a man listens to a radio and they feel like they're connected with a radio presenter. That's the way I feel when I listen to a lot of these mixtape posts. And with Ride, I'll never forget the moment I met him in the flesh for the first time. He booked me for like one of his parties up in Maidstone. And I'm thinking, raw, like, I get a phone call and he's like, yo, what's going on, cuz? And then I'm thinking, raw, like, this is like, this sounds like Big Ride, didn't it? And then it's like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm throw these parties. And he, and Big Ride used to have some of the maddest parties as well. Where I always wanted to go to them, but I was like, obviously not in a position to just pull up to, to one of his parties. So when he booked me just at the start of this year, obviously pre-COVID, it was so sick to just rub shoulders with him and, and just be in the same room as him and be amongst the same people as him and just like learning from him. And um, I just I always give the credit to him. I take my hat off to him. He's just amazing. He's also one of the most iconic hosts to do best ofs. So best ofs in the UK, every, every like creme de la creme rapper has a best of. A DJ would put that together. Best of Gigs goes down as one of the most important series of a gigs catalogue. Best of Gigs 1, 2, 3 and 4 all hosted and compiled by none other than DJ Big Red. So again, that's the GOAT there. Millionaires, yeah, Michael, tell him. What? What? Blade. Hold on. Cheeks. What I'm saying now? Listen. Yeah. A lot of rappers talking and lying and lying I with my nigga gigs and I ain't talking about Ryan Fam is stuck up in his rap race 06 bus a strap case 05 bus a food case Number one mystic host for me that has inspired me the most is Michael Million Michael Million goes without saying the hardest work in mixtape host of all time If I can even host a third of some of the mixtapes that he's hosted, then I would know that I've achieved a lot in the mixtape culture. And um, why I respect Michael Million so much is having a work rate in the mixtape world isn't easy. Because for those who don't know, when an artist hits, hit us up and say, oh, yeah, could you host it? It's not just going to the studio and hosting it. It goes beyond that. Sometimes it's putting the right effects in the right places. Sometimes it's putting the, the wheel ups in the, in the right places. A lot of the, it, there's a whole, there's a whole culture behind it. There's a whole way of doing the mixtape. You don't just talk. Michael Million was one of the first guys to implement stories, you know, in, in a lot of his intros. And another quick one, SN1, another quick one, is my favorite ever Michael Million mixtape that he's ever hosted. And the reason why that, that, that particular mixtape is so important is the way he just put everything together was so flawless. Unreleased freestyles. He's the one that would get some of the most organic, fresh, new tracks and put it in a tape. We all used to like proper, proper, proper get our phones out and do that, the infrared thing and Bluetooth thing to get the latest Michael Million, like, freestyle was, like, his thing was just a different cloth. And another tape that was so important as well was Rattlin's Youngest in Charge tape as well. I remember hearing what, what Michael Million was doing on that and it was special. I think, I think everybody will agree with me and I'm in unison when they say Michael Million is up there with one of the best ever to do it um, in this mixtape hosting world and um, big shout out to worldworld.com and uh, the whole movement and I, I think he still hosts mixtapes here and there up to now but yeah Michael you're a G you're a real OG and the reason why I still host mixtapes to now is because I want to continue the legacy and the foundation that you and Big Red set so yeah man big up Michael Million 10 times bruh so for those who don't know, Michael Million used to call himself the gaffer 
And that's why I got the inspiration to call myself The General. So the gaffer, obviously, that's the boss, that's the mixtape boss. The general for me is, is someone who's learning from, from the gaffer and is now the general. So that's why I got my name, the general. So for those who don't know, that was all Michael Million that inspired that name, the general, and I never looked back since. So yeah, man. Who knows? Michael Million and Kenny Allstar mixtape. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah.